Hello! Today I'm going to go through some more RemNote tips. I want to view this video a little bit like a part two to the original how to use RemNote. Except this time I want to focus on templates and that daily documents power up Rem and some other features that came out since my last video. So included in this is going to be three main templates I want to build. An example of a questions template that I use in my notes. Also, I want to go over how to sort a bibliography using tags and also templates. And lastly, I want to go over that daily document power up rem and how you can use templates for it. So let's just get right into it. First, let's go over some features I didn't go over in the last video. That would be plugins. So there is an API for RemNote and there are some interesting plugins thus far. There isn't a whole lot, but one is this word count and character count plugin, which I have up here, and a graph plugin. This is definitely the most popular plugin right now, and it serves for a great tool for someone who is using RemNote for a knowledge base. So to find that plugin page, I'm gonna go to this information button on the bottom left-hand corner. I think my recording is cutting it off, so I'll show you in a little screenshot. And there should be under tools, a link to plugins. Another feature I didn't go over is image occlusion. And that's when you have an image, you click on it and you can start creating occlusion cards. Pressing A, to get this tool to appear, you can start dragging over text inside of an image and hiding it to test yourself on these elements of the image. And then when you're done, when the image appears in your flashcards, you click on the image and you'll see what is blocked out to recall, and then it will show you the answer. You can also merge more than one element by clicking on one of the blocks, pressing this merge button down here and merging that clicked element with another element or merging all of them together. Inside a flashcard, it will then prompt you to remember all hidden closes. As well, the answer options have been changed in RemNote. Now you have four different options. So if you recalled the answer immediately, there's this easy button, recalled with minimal effort, and then there's another option for recalled with significant effort and unable to recall. From what I understand, this is aiding the spaced repetition algorithm better. And speaking of spaced repetition, if you go into your settings, you'll now be able to customize spaced repetition. You'll be able to choose between default and this Anki option. So this customization aspect, I'm really pumped about. I think this is such a great idea. And I do love this little graph here to show how it works. And there is documentation on the algorithm and why it is the way it is. And I'm gonna leave links to all this down below. I also wanna point out that there is also a Pomodoro timer option that you can queue on and off inside of the settings. The Pomodoro will be inside the flashcard when you're learning. I can understand why people would like to have this, but I don't personally have a use for it. First of all, if you want to start creating a template, you're gonna go locate the automatically add template power up. I have it saved to my sidebar, but you can just go in here and search for it. Power up rims have this arrow going up next to it. Now under here, I'm gonna create a question template. Very straightforward, whenever I have a question inside the body of my notes and I write the question out, I'm going to use hashtag hashtag, the title of this template, and below it inside the children will populate everything I want to populate inside so I don't have to manually go in and type them out. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna call this question. I use this question template inside of my French notes because a lot of the time with language learning, Googling a question doesn't really give you a straight answer. So I do have a connection with someone who knows French and I can contact him with the questions that I have. So what I'll do underneath the question is a presumptive answer. 
is just an answer I might get from the internet or what I may think is the answer, and then Len's answer. So when I contact him, I know the actual answer. I'm gonna make sure these are slots. So I'm gonna go forward slash slot, turn into a slot for each child. Question is the name of the template. And let's just do it like this and see what happens. Go back to example. Let's say that I have a question in here. What exactly does this mean? And I go hashtag, hashtag to create a tag and I'm gonna go search for question. So question, and you'll see down here in automatically add template, question appears. I'm gonna click that template there and you'll see two unfilled slots next to the tag. You can click this and add all rem to this document, which will add all the children, or you can go command option P. And now I have these two here. You may notice these icons here. These don't come with the default rem note. I am using a custom CSS here, and that is another power up rem uh, that I did not go over and actually wanted to. And you can also search for this where you can add custom CSS and it's a, it's a nice little spot for it. You can add a blank CSS block or you can add a template that RemNote gives you and play around with the CSS in here. I think that's honestly like the coolest update. Now back to this. <laughs> so to avoid that command option P, whenever I put in this tag question, I want these children to appear automatically. I don't want too much friction here. I just wanna quickly ask a question. So let's go back to question. You'll notice that over here it says one number. That is just telling me where in my workspace this question is located. And I can click on it and go to it. And it will highlight inside of the page here. Now let's make this automatic. So to do that, inside of this heading, I am going to add this power up. Basically the power up we are in. I'm going to add automatically add template. If we go back, and let's delete this and type it out again. And I go hashtag, hashtag question. It will automatically populate those children. So if you have a template with a bunch of children in it, this is useful. And I would just write what I believe is the answer as well. If I know I'm talking to Len on Saturday, what I'll do is go exclamation point, exclamation point to bring up a calendar go to the 26th, and then this will populate inside my daily documents. If I go inside daily documents, I'll see on the 26th, I have a link to this question. And we'll get into another way to give yourself reminders or to-dos for future dates later in this video. But what I also like about this automatically add template, I like using it almost like a backlinking page because it is collecting in every instance I am using this template. So I am collecting all of my questions and everything else that requires templates. So let's build this bibliography. So I wanna tag it hashtag article, which I don't believe I have that. No, I don't. So let's name that article. Assuming I'm gonna have more articles, I'm gonna have more books that I'm citing, I want to organize within a bibliography all of my books and my articles separately. So I can just quickly go to that folder, which I have already created over here, bibliography. I threw my links in here for the web clipper as well. And RemNote does have a web clipper. I'll also leave a link to that down below. I have to remember all the links I have to put down there. So the idea is let's throw this article tag inside the bibliography. What I'm gonna do is shift click. And in here, I'm going to bring this search portal up which comes with every hashtag when you go into its document. And inside of it, you'll see everywhere in your workspace you've used this hashtag. I'm going to put it up here. Go over to these three dots and move this document to my bibliography. And upon clicking bibliography folder, all of my articles will show up here. And I'll do the same thing for books. So what I wanna do here is make a tag for articles and books that I wanna process separately. If I am using an article to cite information I've already written in the body of my notes, that's one thing. But if I then want to use that article and break it down 
maybe summarize the abstract and the methods used and the results and the discussion. Or if I want to do the same thing with a book and create book notes, I want to create this tag called process.article, process.book, and create a template. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say within article, I come down here and I want to break down this article and really what is going on inside of it. So what I'm going to do is go to automatically add template again, and I'm going to create a tag called process.article. Come in here and create slots. So let's say abstract forward slash slot to make it a slot, methods in this article, the results, and discussion. Okay. And of course, at the top here, the title of the template, I will put in, uh, uh, sorry, not forward slash, we're gonna go hashtag, hashtag, automatically add template. Now what I can do is add that process tag. So I wanna process this article and everything will show up in here for me to start filling out. It's also nice about this is this is the abstract. I can go into abstract, say shift click, and look through all of the abstracts that I have rather than all of the articles if I want. So that is one way you can organize articles and books and to process those articles and books as well and to create notes within them. All right, so let's look at the Daily Documents Power Up Room. Again, you can find it by searching Daily Documents. Make sure that arrow going up is next to it. And this is where all your dates will compile. So if at any point you add a date inside the body of your text, it will populate here. And again, to add a date, you're gonna go exclamation point, exclamation point, and it'll bring up a calendar. What I wanna do is create a daily template. In this daily template, I want my daily podcast episode. I listen to a podcast every single morning. I try to, that is spoken in French for about a half an hour. So I just wanna put the episode name in there and maybe a link. I also want to prompt myself to answer the question, what am I gonna study and what am I gonna research? I may not use this template literally every single day, but it may be useful. So let's go to automatically add template again, daily assessment maybe, and inside of it, daily podcast episode, and maybe underneath of this, I'll write notes, turn it into a slot, maybe another one for homework. I wouldn't really use this, but if you are a student, this might be helpful. Um, also to study and to research. Turn all of these into slots and that's all I want in here. And of course, daily assessment, hashtag, hashtag, automatically add template. Now, when I go back into my daily documents, actually, I can go hashtag, hashtag, daily assessment. And I'll have everything automatically added. And here I might have the name of the episode and my notes here. I can also do something like this with to do's. So let's say I have a question, go back to this question. And I want to ask Len this question on Saturday, like we said before. So first of all, let's create that link to September 26th. In here, I'm gonna go shift click to open a new pane inside of this date. I'm actually gonna create a to-do. Talk to Lenny about French questions. And now that I've created that to-do in daily document, if I toggle down for tomorrow, that to-do will be there. And I'll just close out of this pane, go right back to my notes, and I actually delete this link. So I would do that instead of just simply linking the date. As well, whenever you create a to-do, a power up rem to-do appears. And if you go down to status within to-do, you'll see all of your unfinished to-dos and all of your finished to-dos. This is super useful if you're using RemNote as your knowledge base, you're using it pretty much for everything. It's good to know about this. Okay, so now I wanna get into sort of more complex templates. Say in daily assessment, 
I have a child within a child. And you may have this, right? So daily episode, let's say I wanna know the number. I don't know why I would wanna know this, but just for the sake of example, and turn this into a slot. And maybe notes, homework, maybe say, actually it might be useful if you go uh, due date, turn that into a slot and go back into daily documents and see how this works. Daily assessment. Using that auto add template hashtag, everything will show up with the children, within the children, within the children. So yes, you can make it more complex. Let's actually take these away and go daily assessment again. And within due date, let's say it's on Monday, you can just type Monday and the nearest Monday will show up. You can see the 28th has now populated inside of this document. And it will link me to September 25th and I would honestly just go down to September 25th and uh, see what that homework is or just view it inside of this little portal here because it does show you the hierarchy. So if I had homework prepare for exam, I'll see it up here in this link. What I had to do, prepare for exam, due date is the 28th. So I hope this was helpful. Um, templates are really exciting. Um, I feel like of all of the programs for knowledge management, RemNote has a very intuitive template function. As for bibliography, there is a third party uh, plugin for Zotero implementation. I will leave the link down below to that. I've never used it, but it looks promising. And if you have any questions, let me know, of course. And I will see you guys next time.